What up, you guys? We're live on the red carpet at El Cid Theater in Los Angeles, California for the highly anticipated short film screening of Pretty Boy. I'm your red carpet host, Sina. You don't want to miss a beat, so stay tuned. resume of work pretty much goes down the street. You know, you've been in movies such as The Duff, Get On Up, just to name a few. How was preparing for Pretty Boy different from that? Uh, well, Pretty Boy was was one of the uh, projects that uh, I can say uh, I was involved with the longest. Yeah, no, I, you know, I was approached by Cameron, uh, you know, he, he asked me if I would want to be involved, and, and that was kind of a new thing for me. Um, you know, so I, I immediately jumped at the opportunity after, especially after reading the script. How was it preparing for such a role like that? And I heard that you were half naked, according to Nico. I'm just saying. I was half naked uh, in my birthday suit, um, which you know, when you're in a, a hotel room with about eight guys, it's that it, it, that's all the prep you need. And the theme of this of this movie is so important, but it's so. You know, growing up in that conservative Midwest environment like I did, it made it really easy to draw upon a lot of my friends and family and people that I've known in my life to, for this character. So, we cast the crew, we all came out together. We, we had a mission of we just wanted to help one kid. But I think after seeing the final project, it's going to help so many more. And then, so we, we talked about the film, we watched it together a bunch of times. And, and somewhere along the way, it became this really cool. 80s synth thing, but then it, it kind of transfers as the character grows into this really organic, like indie rock thing. Since we're talking about bullying, do you have any advice for people that have been bullied or are going through bullying now? Since I know that has been something that's been a topic of discussion on the internet. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, don't don't keep it to yourself. Don't uh, don't stay silent. The final drafts took about s seven hours straight just to get through every shot, and uh, before that, days and days of Cameron like bringing Barbies. Just to give me a visual. Just to give you a visual. Here's a Barbie can, Becca Sean, you know, whatever, you know. I'm very satisfied with how it came out. Um, to me, it kind of feels like my, my drawings are actually brought to life. And for us, really, just one, one meeting sitting down and talking about why my, my vision is and what his vision is and, and blending those together. We got to do a lot of um, kind of emotional, different takes uh, without any lines, which is nice and cool, and we had a like a slow-mo Baywatch running, but not Baywatch style. <laughs> um, it was it was fun, and Cameron's amazing. It's a, it's a story that I feel like even if you aren't gay, you can relate to, because we all know someone that is gay, and we all know someone who's struggling with that, so it's definitely a very relatable story. How are you feeling? I feel... I can't even put it into words. It's amazing to have everyone here to show love and passion and support for the film. Uh, Cameron's worked on it for so long now, and he's just had so many people behind him pushing him to just keep going further and further with it, and it's amazing. Um, just anything that anyone could do to help, I think, was across the board. Anybody that knew Cameron knew that whatever he asked, whatever he needed, um, needed to be done so he can get this film done and, and it's finally done and and I'm, I'm incredibly happy for him. Why thank you, thank you. She was on time, she was. I was ready on time, he kept me waiting for an hour. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk. I just had to stop you two because you look amazing and you're making me look bad. I'm so proud of Cameron, I mean Nico, Rebecca, everybody did such a wonderful job and I'm really honored to be here. Wow, yeah, are we doing a selfie? Uh, no, I'm not going to do a selfie. I'm going to get a picture of all you fantastic looking yeah. people. Wow, a bunch of pretty people here tonight. With this film, he has something to say, um, and it comes directly from his heart. And that's why I think it's it's such an important film um, that was made, and, and both of us were just, you know, it was a gift to be a part of it. Um, so, without further ado, we welcome to the stage, Cameron Thrower. Just one of those things where you watch and you're like, you know that this is gonna make a difference. I wanted to make this film for those kids out there um, that might feel a little different. We 
you just want them to know that it's okay to be who you are. And I have a couple words for them tonight. We want you to know that you are wonderful, you are special, and you can do anything you put your mind to. Find your voice, and when you do, let it out.